So now we're on the tibia, and we're going to start with the intercondylar eminence. What this basically is, is this ridge right here. Then we have our tibial plateau, which is where the femur is going to articulate. Basically, plateau, intercon uh, intercondylar eminence. Then we move down anteriorly. We're going to have our tibial tuberosity, where that uh, osgood schlatter disease uh, originates from. And then we're going to go all the way down distally to our medial malleolus. Now, if we know this is a medial malleolus and the tibial uh, tuberosity is anterior, well, then we can tell that this is the right uh, tibia. Um, after that, we'll try to find a cilial line on this. Actually, I'm surprised it's actually here because uh, it's a fake bone. But our cilial line is basically posterior and diagonal from the articulation with the fibula. So our articulation with the fibula is going to be on the lateral side. It's going to be this smooth portion right here. This is uh, where the fibular f facet is. This is proximal. And then coming from this is the soleal line. Okay. Um, from from the articular uh, fibular facet. This is proximal. There's actually two uh, kind of articulations with the fibula: the facet and the notch. The notch is actually more prominent because it's actual indentation on the distal side. So fibular notch, fibular facet, soleal line, flip it over anteriorly, tibial tuberosity, medial malleolus, and we can tell that this is a right tibia.